Glammies and welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy Glam. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and watching a video with me. If you are already a part of the Mandy Glam family, welcome back. I always start my videos off by thanking you guys so much simply because I'm trying to live in the moment of gratitude, okay? Because so much is going on and sometimes my mind wanders off and I start thinking about the things that I don't have and I just start, you know, having these crazy thoughts. So I say, you know what? I need to put myself in the frame of mind of gratitude, okay? So and grateful so to all of my loyal viewers, all of you guys that watch my videos. Every time I upload a video, y'all always there, y'all always watching commenting giving me love showing me love all that good stuff so i am so grateful to you guys so i just want to say thank you so much okay if you are new to my channel you've never been over here you don't know what i'm about what i'm doing why i'm here x y and z <laughs> let me just tell you here on my channel basically what i do is talk about fragrances i love fragrances i love to smell good that is my thing that's my jam i do want to um start going live with you guys and i want you guys to comment on a topic that y'all want to talk about i even asked my daughter if she wanted to come on and do the live with me so yeah comment down below what do y'all want to talk about? You want to talk about lifestyle? Do you want to talk about dating? Because y'all know I'm single. Y'all want to talk about children, family, you know, um, whatever. Whatever y'all want to talk about, comment down below. Let me know and we gonna get it popping. I just, I need to figure out what day because I want to kind of do it on Fridays. And if I do it on a Friday, it's going to have to be on a Friday night. If I do it on a Saturday, I don't want to have to get up too early. I don't know. I'm trying to figure all this out, okay? I'm trying to, it may be just as simple as me just doing a trial run thing and see how it goes and then making changes from there. I don't know, girl. We gonna see. We gonna see, okay? We gonna see. Let's talk about it. Because I know y'all see it and I haven't addressed it. <laughs> Before we get in this video, yes, my hair is short. I'm not wearing a wig in this video because I want to let my head breathe for a minute, okay? I wanted it off even, if that makes sense. And I did color it. I have a mirror over here that I'm looking in. I colored it on my own and um, I think I did a pretty decent job. Comment below, let me know what y'all think. When I first did it, it was super orange. I think it has toned down a whole, whole lot. But yeah, yes. So you guys will be seeing this head, my real head, okay? For, probably for the summer, honestly. So, okay, let me just say this, cause I know a lot of people are gonna be like, I don't wear fragrances to get compliments, blah, blah, blah. Sis, I understand. I don't wear them to get compliments either. Um, I wear them because I love them if they smell good or not to other people I don't care um, but I don't think compliments are a bad thing I it's love to see it I love to see people complimenting each other on whatever it may be hair fashion uh, getting a degree you know or buying a new home whatever it is I love to see it I, I even more so love to see women complimenting each other because I feel like oftentimes we are too busy not uplifting each other, if that makes sense. If I see you, you beautiful, I love what you have on, I love your hair, your makeup is popping or whatever, I'm gonna compliment you. That's just me, that's just my nature of who I am, you know? And I would hope that it's reciprocated to me as well. So, you know, I know people just say, ah, I don't wear fragrances to get compliments. Compliments are good. Maybe you should get used to people complimenting you because it's not a bad thing, okay? All right. So my first fragrance that I wanna talk about is an oldie but a goodie. It's actually been in my collection for a while now. This is a new bottle that I bought um, sometime last year. 
This is Euphoria by Calvin Klein. And this is just a cute little one ounce. I believe this is a one ounce. Yeah, you guys, when I wear this fragrance, it is just so sexy. That's the first word that comes to my mind. The other word that comes to my mind is uniqueness. And I'm all about fragrances that bring something different. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be the same cookie cutter robot, you know, I'm doing what everybody else do. No, I want to do something different. I don't want to be like everybody else. So this is definitely going to have you stand out from the crowd. Okay, is what I'm trying to say. You definitely will stand out from the crowd wearing this fragrance. In the top, you get pomegranate, raspberry, you get passion fruit, peach, um, you get crimson, green notes in the top, in the middle you get orchid, lotus, champaca in the uh, middle, in the base you get mahogany, amber musk, violet, patchouli, and vanilla. But this is one I would definitely wear right now. It's still cool here which is surprising. It doesn't feel very springy to me right now for some reason, but this will make an awesome uh, date night fragrance in the spring, I think, and also in the summer. I'm definitely gonna try it. I, I usually preserve this one for the winter, but I think I'm gonna cut that out and just go for it, okay? I'm just gonna go for it and see how I feel doing that. It's gonna be something very different for me, but I'm, I'm up for the challenge, okay? I'm up for the challenge. This is a Secret Obsession by Calvin Klein. Y'all know, y'all, I used to talk about this fragrance pretty much every video I did last year. This was a total blind buy for me. I don't even think, I was able to smell it in the store. I think I smelled it when I got home and loved it. This fragrance is amazing. I know some of you guys don't care for it, but men happen to love this fragrance. I'm telling you, I can wear this fragrance and a man will get a whiff of me, honey, and he will stop. And, and ask and tell me that I smell good. It's happened numerous of times. I'm telling you, this is a good one. Now, I may not get compliments from the ladies on this one, but I do, men enjoy this fragrance. I don't know what it is, but men really enjoy this fragrance. Now, of course, the nutmeg is the first thing that I was attracted to in this fragrance, but the fruity note is plum. Um, there's also rose in this fragrance. Um, in the middle, you get two rose, jasmine, orchid, ylang ylang, um, and orange blossom. In the base, you get sandalwood, amber, cedar, vanilla, cashmere woods, orris, and warm wood. I know I sound like I'm saying warm, but I'm saying worm, worm wood, <laughs> okay? Y'all know I got a country accent, okay? So y'all forgive me. This fragrance is so good. It's just really, really, really nice. Very sexy. There's something uh, about this fragrance that has a very come hither vibe. It draws people to you. They want to smell you even more and more once they get that first whiff. It's just really nice. It's really nice. It's Chloe by Chloe. Okay, this is the Eau de Parfum. This is the original. I know they, they're like a few, maybe three or four flankers, but this is the original one. Um, Y'all gonna have to forgive me. Y'all know that the cap tarnishes or whatever because it's real. They use real silver on their bottles, so I need to get some silver cleaner and clean that off, but yeah. This is actually my second bottle um, of the Chloe. This is my favorite rose fragrance. Well, let me correct that. This is, I'm um, sorry baby. This is my second favorite rose fragrance now that I have Delina in my collection, Delina Exclusive. This one has kind of been bumped down to number two. Still love it, still the original rose fragrance that I fell in love with. And it's just a beautiful fragrance. I call this the girl next door fragrance because it's very pretty, it's very feminine, it's very soft. 
there's i want to say rose in this fragrance rose oil this is a very rosy like fragrance so if you're not into rose you may not like it but i like it because it's a very unique rose fragrance like some rose fragrances come off very like toiletry like my grandmother used to decorate her bathroom with these little tiny pink rose soaps as decoration right and i used to smell them and i just hated that smell so whenever i think of rose rose fragrances that i don't like i always call them toiletry fragrances you know now this is one that females will compliment me on like women when they smell this on me they will ask me what i'm wearing when it first came out it's super popular now every y'all you probably got one sitting on your dresser right now it's very popular but when it first came out it was something different very powdery um maybe a little bit of musky rose type of vibe to it so something different than people was used to smelling when it came to a rose fragrance okay all right so this next one is a little bit immature okay only when it comes to presentation but the the smell the juice bangs okay this is uh ariana grande's cloud and this is so good i'm telling you guys <laughs> This one definitely gets me plenty of compliments. I wear it to work, I've worn it out, I've worn it everywhere, I've worn it to bed. This, this could easily be a everyday scent for me, a signature scent. I don't personally have a signature scent, but I would definitely consider this if I'm looking for a signature scent, it's just that good. It's very mass appealing. It just appeals to everyone. Men, women, cats, dogs, horses. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> like, people really do love this fragrance. Of course, you guys already know it is considered to be a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, I must say, this one is a little bit sweeter. And this one I can smell on my skin all day. I cannot smell the Baccarat after like two hours, which is weird. And it it makes me think, do I really want to spend $300 on a fragrance that I go blind to, with nose blind to after two hours? What the heck? Like, I don't, I just can't. I'm still trying to wrap my head around that and if i'm gonna do it i don't know i'm still thinking about it but yeah definitely i'm gonna invest in a 3.4 in this one though i really do like it again like i said huge compliment getter huge 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 I'm thinking i'm going to do a part two to this video because i don't want it to be super long because i have two four six other fragrances they get a lot of compliments so I'm going to release this one on Monday and then I'll release the other one on Wednesday but yeah this is gonna be a two-part I guess I should have said that earlier but now that I'm thinking about it I'm like already looking at my time on the camera and I don't want it to be I don't want this video to be 45 minutes long okay I feel like this fragrance was my very first niche fragrance i'm trying to think i think this is my first niche fragrance that i've ever bought in my collection but <sighs> love this fragrance from day one day the first day i sniffed it it was a love at first you name it sniff wear the whole nine yards loved it okay this is uh by killian this is good girl gone bad i don't have a bottle of it now i do want to buy a bottle of it and i plan on getting a bottle of it um this is the travel sprays you know they come you get four i want to say this is seven ounces 7.5 ounces you get four of them and they go in this cute little a uh, travel sprayer holder or whatever this is so gorgeous this is a white floral fragrance but i want to say it's considered to be powdery it may have a little musk in it 
surprised me to find out that it has tuberose in it because I'm not that big of a fan of tuberose. Tuberose is not prominent in this fragrance whatsoever and I'm very happy about that. In the top you get osmanthus, you get jasmine, you get uh, rose. In the middle you get Indian tuberose and narcissus. In the base you get amber and cedar. Not a lot of notes in this fragrance which is so interesting to me seeing as though the fragrance is so loud and it's just gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance to me. It smells expensive. It smells like money. It smells like sophistication, sex. Um, it's just very, very appealing to me. And yeah, it's just everything. I love this fragrance. I love it, love it, love it to death. Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian will always have a place in my top 10, always. Okay, so that was part one. I'm going to do again, like I said, I'm going to do part two Wednesday. You guys will see that one. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any of these fragrances. Let me know what you think about them. If you've gotten compliments from them, comment down below. If you watch this video all the way through, through its entirety, Man, please hit the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it if you did so. You don't know how much it means to me. When you guys hit the thumbs up button, it means that you love what I'm doing, you love my content, you love me, okay? We are vibing, we're sent twins, okay? You love, you love everything. You, you're here for it. That's what it means when you hit the like button. You're here for it, okay? So if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to, to consider subscribe. Now, I ain't gonna say consider. A lot of people say consider. I want you to subscribe, baby. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> like, I want you to subscribe to my channel. Real talk. Hit that subscribe button, okay? Also, hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be notified and you don't miss out. Um, comment also and let me know the topics. I wanna go on live and I wanna talk about a few things. Let me know. Current events, relationships, makeup, fragrances, family, whatever. Whatever y'all want to talk about, I'm here to talk about it, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Um, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend or had a fabulous weekend. I hope y'all have a fabulous week. And I will see you in the next video.